Episode of the Faces of Druidry. This this episode, which is the fourth, uh, is in response to questions from some of my friends asking, "How do I end up on the Druidic path?" Well, it's a bit of a story, so let me see if I can get it in ten minutes. If not, then it will probably go into part two. Um, I'll start off. Um, I entered the pagan community, or I should say, the pagan path. A little over a quarter of a century. I was 17 years old at the time, strung out on heroin, and I had a rainbow sister help me get off of heroin and introduce me to the goddess and took me to my first rainbow gathering, which I believe was Michigan. It was 1983, so I believe it was Michigan was my first gathering. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, anyway, Um, a few years later, when I was around 21, I was hanging around in Boulder, which was a normal hangout back in them days in the early 80s, or mid-80s, for us rainbows. And it still is, pretty much. A lot of rainbow family hang out in Boulder. Um, I was hanging out there in a coffee shop called Penny Lanes, and I met a rainbow sister, a little over twice my age at that time, although you wouldn't have known it other than her gray hair. Um, named Sparrowhawk. Uh, some of you Rainbow uh, might remember her. Uh, she passed away in the early 90s, actually. She introduced me to the path of Druidry. Um, she took me on as her apprentice. I lived with her for almost two years uh, in her little cottage right between Netherlands and Bulger. Actually, she was closer to the Netherlands than she was Bulger, but Anyways, I lived with her for about two years, and I lived actually as her apprentice. I actually helped to take care of her home, take care of her yard, uh, work in her garden. I did everything that you would expect a stereotypical apprentice would do for a druid, witch, or a wizard, or whatever. I was your typical magical apprentice. I really was. Um, anyways, um, she had a lot of books. Boy, that cabin was filled with so many books. And I rarely ever saw her take one down and look at it, much less teach me from it. She followed a very oral tradition. She taught me uh, right from her mouth, you know, orally, and the way Druids did in ancient times. Uh, she had an extraordinary memory. I don't know how she memorized half of the, the lore that she had in that head. We'd go for walks, and if I had a question, she would point at something in nature and ask me, well, what does that tell you? And uh, so she definitely taught me how to read nature. She ta taught me how to understand the symbolism of nature and so forth. And basically speak the language of, of nature, which is symbolic. Um, she introduced me, as I said, to the Gruyere to the Path. She followed a Welsh tradition. Uh, she was solitary, obviously, but she... But she, yeah, she was solitary, but she drew on the Welsh pantheon and so far. Anyways, um, Rainbow family managed to keep me on the Druidic path. And some of you Druids out there are asking, well, what is Rainbow family? Well, for some of you Druids who do not, do not know what Rainbow family is, they've been around since 1972. First Rainbow Gathering was held in 1972 at Strawberry Lake, Colorado. Um, I was obviously too young to have been at that. Well, I wasn't too young. I could have been there, but anyways, um, I couldn't have been there on my own. Um, Rainbow managed to keep me on the Druidic path because Rainbow by its very nature is earth-loving, mother earth-loving, uh, tribal, very into tribal community, um, holistic living, a sustainable living, environmentally conscious, socially conscious, politically, um, liberally conscious, liberally politically conscious, 
and though there are people of every walk of life, every religion, every spiritual path can be found at Rainbow Gathering, there is a very, very large Druidic, Wiccan, and uh, Pagan um, population at Rainbow Gathering. Um, Native American spirituality and so forth, based on the Hopi prophecy. Um, if you're interested, oh, excuse me. If you're interested in Rainbow, at the end of at, at the end of all my videos, there are two links at the very end. There are two, two websites that host rainbow family related stuff, information, hip story, and so forth. I have a sister who is also a druidist who has decided that I need to go back home and she threatened to kidnap me this year to take me to the 2007, I mean 2008 national being held in Wyoming. I haven't been to a gathering since 2000 and that was Montana. After the Montana gathering I got plugged back into the, well, I didn't get plugged back into it. I tried to plug into the urban pagan community for the last seven years, and it's just not cut, and I've been pulling my hair out and frustrated with it, and I really need to go back to my roots, which is Rainbow Family. I also, you will notice in my videos that, that I have a strong ADF and AODA influence in my druidry. Those are the other two areas that have influenced my druidry as well as my my original Sparrow, my original mentor, Sparrow Hawk. And I'm kind of running out of time and I'm babbling. I really don't want to go into a second video. So I'm going to end this here and maybe talk about this in another one later on. Good luck late. Spirit's gonna take